What's happening, world? It's Renegade L. Ray. Back again with my people from Waves, man. So you know, they always try to get me to get y'all some of these good little secrets we got, right? Today, we talking about the reverse effect. The reverse delay effect, to be specific. Because some of y'all out here, y'all doing it. I'm going to show y'all just how simple it is. So first off, shout out to Mocha Carmouche, because she's the one who showed me this when I was an intern back in the day. So this actually is coming out of the hook. I'm a sweeper, make no season once I get to going. Look it straight up. Straight up. Let me mute the beat so you can see exactly what it's doing. No, no. I'm a sweeper, may no season once I get to going. We can straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Only time will tell who will react the way they claim. There you go. So, we're going to get into how, how it is done because it's very, very, very simple. The main thing is you just find you a delay that you like, a delay that you can work. And the delay that can give you uh, a good bit of feedback. So I'm going to go to my audio suite, find my delay. The one that I, I particularly like to use is the H delay. The reason I like it is because I can type in digitally exactly what I want out of this. Right now, I'm looking for about an eighth note delay. I can already give you my BPM, which is already here for me. 143 on this particular record. It's already showing. Now, only thing I have to do in this case, turn my feedback up a little bit. I'm going to give myself a little bit more output than the default. So I might go to maybe like 2 o'clock a little bit. As far as my rate, my default in my own mind is about 1.38. It, it seems to give me the delay, but allow the, the delay to not get in the way. The rate of about 138. I'm going to go ahead and give you a high pass. And what people tend to misconstrue is the differences between a high pass and a low pass. Right. But your high pass is just that it's letting the highs pass, cutting the lows. If you say low cut, that's the same thing as a high pass. Boom. So here we go. I'm going to go with a high pass, cut some of these lows out just because I only want the top end of the delay anyway. What I like to do is I take those whatever word is going to come after the delay effect. That's what I'm going to grab. So here is the start of my verse. Only time will tell who will react the way they claim. The really so only time will tell how they will react. Only time will tell who will react the way they claim. Boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it up fresh for you, right? I'm gonna mute the one that I already have in here, just so we can do it all over again. So I'm gonna grab the first, this first word. Only, only, only right? Boom. I'm gonna create a stereo track. And what I like to do is I'll grab these two tracks. Because I dub a lot of my verses, a lot of my hooks, I'm going to grab this only out of both the main and the dub. And I'll let you hear what this delay does. So now, given the settings that I already told you I created, boom. Only, only, so I exaggerated it on purpose. So I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit more, and I'm going to turn it up. Then I'm going to fade it. So what I really have here is... Boom. Now that I have my delay, I'm going to drown it in reverb and I'm going to cut out some of those lows. That's just, you know, my preference. Give it a little bit more depth. And then as far as the wet and dry ratio, I want to drown it, but I don't want to make it muddy. So here I'm just going to turn this wet and dry ratio down to about 60, 65. It's going to make it real ghostly, which is another reason why I turn on the waveform, why you'll see me turn it, turn the waveform up because the, the reverb is going to make it, it's, it's going to shrink it once it drowns it in the reverb. So I'm going to render that. Now we have, only, 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 right? I actually want to drown it a little bit more. So let me go to 70. About 70% 70 wet and dry. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to simply go to the reverse plugin, which is in other. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to give it enough time. So my actual highlight is going to be everything that I just created and then about 16 bars before that. So when I hit reverse, I'm 
Boom. So now I'm just going to scoop this in a little bit because I'm doing everything on grid, mind you. And I'm going to tuck it right up underneath the actual word only, right? You remember that? So now all I'm going to do is just turn that track down and fade that in a little bit more. Give it a little EQ. So I go to the R6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my shelf, my low shelf, because I don't like to take out stuff completely. I just like to turn it down. So I'm going to turn down these lows. And then I'm just going to boost the highs a little bit because I'm looking for the ghostly effect of everything. I'm not really trying to cut it out. I like to keep some of that grit in the pot. So, boom. There we go. Now, what I have here is... It's very drawn out and it's very exaggerated. And that's just because now I can, I have more than enough to simply trim it up, fade it in myself to make it nice, short, and sweet. And now we're going to play it with the rest of the record. You got to get the full effect of this. Shout out to DX, the producer of this. DX is see my, my guy from uh, Carolina. Here we go. So coming out of the hook. Sweep them, ain't no ceasing once I get to going. Get straight up. Straight up. Only time would tell who would react the way they claim. The really freeze with time to Hey man. The Renegade L Ray. Waves. Southern Eagle Music Group all day. Signing out. Is you tweaking this? We beefing. Is it really worn? The lock and load. We all told him. You know how it's going. Look, I've been trying to come in peace. Might get to blissing on. I'm a sweeper. Ain't no ceasing once I get to going. Look it straight up. Straight up.